Jesse Ventura is well known as host of Conspiracy Theory, a program that used to air on the True TV cable network. But it was the assassination of JFK that first got him interested in exposing conspiracies and ultimately writing his book, They Killed Our President. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Ventura is a fighter, a former wrestler and Navy SEAL who successfully challenged the two-party stranglehold of the American political system to become a third-party, later independent, governor of Minnesota. Ventura's fighting instincts served him well, uncovering, with the help of co-authors Dick Russell and David Wayne, 63 reasons why the official version of the Kennedy assassination is false. Ventura does not cater to a French element. The majority of Americans have distrusted the Warren Commission for some time. Neither does he reinvent the wheel. Ventura builds on the research of others, crediting his sources in numerous footnotes. He does bring common sense to the issue, having educated himself outside the college system. But keep this in mind, he was still respected enough to be named a visiting fellow at Harvard University in 2004. Here are just a few of the things that Ventura has found that just don't add up to the official government conclusions. Number one, the gun that Oswald supposedly used could not be reloaded and aimed quickly enough to account for the rapid-fire shots. Ventura knows this because he had an expert marksman test an identical weapon. Number two, the autopsy conducted at a government facility reported different wounds and tissue damage than the original doctors did at the Dallas hospital. And number three, official records place Lee Harvey Oswald at two different places at the same time, which is not surprising since the duplicate individuals were not the same height and one had a scar that the other did not. Ventura makes use of deathbed confessions and wiretaps that have since been released if you know where to get them. So what does he conclude? I don't want to give it all away, but Ventura casts strong suspicion of at least complicity on the part of big oil, elements associated with the CIA, the mafia, and you may have heard of this guy, Lyndon Baines Johnson. After 54 years, someone still thinks Americans can't handle the truth about the JFK assassination. Yes, some files were recently released, but some details are still secret. I'd like for you to consider a quote from the book that addresses this. We seek a free flow of information. We are not afraid to entrust the American people with unpleasant facts, foreign ideas, alien philosophies, and competitive values. For a nation that is afraid to let its people judge the truth and falsehood at an open market is a nation that is afraid of its people. Those are not the words of Jesse Ventura. That's actually Ventura quoting John F. Kennedy. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.